you got the law books, right? Uh, and that's the first five books of the Bible. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy are considered the law. And in the law, it makes sense that we see a little bit of the history. We see the covenant or the contract that God makes with Moses and the children of Israel, right? We see uh, Levitical law, which is, hey, here is the contract or here are the, the guidelines, the constitution. That's a good word. Here's the constitution for the people of Israel. Hey, um, they've constituted a priesthood. They've constituted, hey, here is how um, you are to walk in daily life. Here are the rights. Here are the privileges that you have, right? So if you look at it, oh, wait a minute. That's why when I read through Leviticus and I'm talk and I'm hearing these specific details, whatever, I'm like, man, this seems unnecessary or this seems very detailed. Well, contracts are detailed, right? The particulars, I have a home insurance. I had to read purchase home insurance. Don't ask why. Companies left Florida. But um, when I read the contract, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is not the most exciting reading. <laughs> So sometimes when we're reading in Leviticus and we're reading contract law, um, it's like, okay, this isn't the most exciting reading, right? But it's a part of the law, okay? I hope that helps you understand. Deuteronomy, right? They're telling a little bit of what's going on and Moses continues to say, hey, here's the contract. God promises to do this if you do this. God promises to do this if you do this, right? Oh, so now the law will help us understand. Uh, understanding that the first five books are the law, it helps you understand, okay, I'm reading law genre.